Now, you can't come to the shore without getting a sweet mm -hmm. souvenir. And our friends at the Original Fudge Kitchen have many locations all over the place. But the main location is right here in Cape May. And the newest team member that they are working with, oh. but she's probably familiar to you. <laughs> I'm just, Tori, what you got? <laughs> Well, can I tell you, like, I've grown up my whole life coming to the South Jersey Shore. And if there's one place that I always make a stop, it's at the original Fudge Kitchen because I remember even as a kid reaching up to grab one of those samples. But what I appreciate now is now I know the story. So wait till you find out the story, and then that fudge is going to taste so much sweeter. Check it out. If you vacation at the South Jersey Shore, most likely you've been to the original Fudge Kitchen. Not just for samples, but for smiles and of course a show of glossy fudge being flipped and flopped from their window. Thank you. But would you believe this sweet tradition started with a couple of kids in a candy store? Well, meet Joe and Paul Bogle, two brothers from Lafayette Hill who opened the original Fudge Kitchen when they were just 15 and 17 years old. We worked for candy store here in Cape May for Mr. Segel. He was wonderful. He was an older man. He said to us, you would be really good at this. And we talked our parents into letting us rent a store in North Wildwood. So then they started specializing in fudge and twirling it in the window. In 46 years, there has never been a batch of fudge made other than that way. Giving passerbys a taste with a little help from mom. She was our first helper. She used to stand out on the boardwalk giving out samples all night. So she was the original sample? Yes. Well, it's time for me to stop sampling and start learning from Paul the iconic paddle strokes that formed their famous fudge. You slide your paddling and you're going to pull it, try to pull it up to the edge. I'm bending my knees. That's okay. Does that come That's with good. it naturally? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Here's the whipping stroke. You can pick up a little more speed when you go this way. The crisscross. It's like you're skiing. And we're That's moving. It. And we're moving. <laughs> That's, you are a That's it. Finally, the famous flip that I've only seen from the window. All right, here's one the big flip. one. Put on your raincoat. <laughs> They graduated. Where's the diploma? Happy graduation day to me. Yuki and Jessica, I have to tell you, all of those strokes are done <laughs> what feels like a million times. So every bit of fudge almost has their handprint in it. I mean, we're talking this fudge that is so iconic. The fact that I got to put my own little mark on it was awesome. So the original Fudge Kitchen is bringing some fudge to you guys. I hope you have it with you right now because yes. I'm exhausted. I was a little bit of the fudge maker and the sampler maker, and now I'm hanging out at the Montreal's Cabanas, so I'm going to take a nap until the 11 because I'm exhausted. We thank you. Some fudge. Get your rest. We thank you. Yeah. We got you covered. We got, we got you. you covered. No doubt. <laughs> Look, we got Paul and PJ thank here, you. and they did. They made good on their promise. Oh, they sure did. What type do you have there, gentlemen? Thank you. We have chocolate plain, vanilla nut, and chocolate nut mm -hmm. to oh, deliver to you to no. have a sample well, you of. Know, well, I'm just going to take that off your hands okay. there. Yeah, what, let's just. Let's what, just what's that old saying? Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't? <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Well, thank you guys. It's great to PJ. see you. You Great make great fudge. Thanks for, thanks for having mm. us. Right. Welcome to Cape May. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, excellent. Right. You guys make sure you get some fudge. I know. We're going to share all with right. all our friends here. In the